Hi, I'm Emily Austin, and this is Plastic Attic Talks, a series of interviews that we're doing with creators from all over to see what they're up to and what we can expect from them next. Today, I'm joined by Brenda and Savannah Saloom, the mother-daughter duo behind Hartley, a brand dedicated to promoting Canadian makers. You can shop their selection of small batch, slow made home goods and accessories online or at their beautifully curated brick and mortar location at 31 Stewart Street in Toronto. Brenda, Savannah, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you? We're great. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So first of all, congratulations on the launch of Hartley last month. I know that this is a project that you've both been thinking about and working on for over a year now. Can you tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind starting this shop and also what it was like setting up this new business during lockdown? I, for years, was trying to think of what I was going to do next for a business. And I've always loved supporting creatives I, ever since I can remember. In my 20s, I worked together with someone on a music store. And then in the 80s, I had a clothing store that was all Canadian designers. Then um, when I was trying to decide what I was gonna do next, I thought, why don't I try something different? And so then I approached Savannah and asked her if, um, if she was at all interested in joining me and being part of the business, being my co-founder. So when we were first starting Hartley, it was at the beginning of the lockdown in Toronto. For about a couple months, we were online every day researching makers just trying to find people who are making ceramics, woodwork, glasswork, things that people could use in their homes. Because we felt that if people were spending more time at home, that they would appreciate more functional home goods that were being made in Canada. Did our research on the internet because we weren't able to go to any markets or shows or anything like that, like we typically would be able to do. So um, we had our work cut out for us um, looking online every single day, trying to find the best products we could without being able to hold them or touch them, just trying to- Or smell them. Or smell them. <laughs> um, we weren't able to really touch the product until we ordered everything from the specific maker. So, so it was a, definitely a risk. A huge risk. On yeah. our end. On that note, can you tell me a little bit about the makers and goods that are featured at Hartley and how you selected them? We chose things that we loved and we love things that are timeless. Rather than buying a whole bunch of things that are inexpensive, I think it's great to have something that's really special and really supporting somebody who's doing something with love and passion. Also, I think the main thing is to keep in mind, you're not buying a mass produced product. Yeah, each one is unique and one of a kind, made in small batches, and you can feel that that one is just for you when you take it home. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. So before I let you go, can you tell me what do you see in the future for Hartley? For us, it's always been about shifting people's mindsets when it comes to shopping. Instead of shopping at the large big box stores where things are mass produced. We hope that just by um, having our shop open and people finding out about us, we can educate people a little bit more on the slow made movement. We also want to grow partly and have it become a platform to share the stories of the artisans as well through um, the blog section and on Instagram, through Q and A's on our website, because each one has a unique story and deserves to be highlighted. Also in our shop, um, Savannah's been writing little uh, bios of each one so that when people ask questions about them, the bio's right there for them to read. And we want to emphasize for others to really consider and seriously think about when they're buying items. Yeah, you can feel more connected and make a more um, informed decision on what you're purchasing when you can find out a little bit more on where it's coming from. Of course, I think that's so important. Brenda, Savannah, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure talking to you and congratulations on the launch of Hartley. Thank you, thank Emily. Thank you, Emily and Brandon. And Brandon. We welcome you to the shop anytime. Yeah, we can't wait to visit. And thank you for joining us for this episode of Plastic Attic Talks. See you next time.